anybody the trouble. So, um, Android 3.0. So, you'll see you've got the multiple screens. You can scroll back and forth. You can customize them with widgets. They've developed a lot of new widgets. They're nice and big, so you can really see what's going on within the widget. Um, to customize it, you press the plus, and it'll bring up the screen. You can grab and drag whatever you want on. Oh, that's cool. Okay, if it's, if it's an IM, it'll come up with the client. It'll come up with your contacts. You got Andy Rubin, Sergey in there. YouTube, they do a lot of this where you can pop through YouTube videos or your books or whatever. So once again, okay. you can tap it, it'll jump to the screen you're on, you can grab it and drag it. Just like you'd expect. It's pretty quick. The cool thing, so part of what they did, besides optimizing the apps, they, they put a lot of new widgets in. Like the Alice, or not Alice, the ebooks widget. So this one, because you're going to have ebooks on here, you can scroll through oh, that's different the books you're looking at. Okay. Um, okay. Part of you know, I told you about the engine. Yes, it's good for graphics. It's awesome for browsing. So with the browser, uh, with the one gig of RAM and a dual core processor, this is like your laptop browser. <clears throat> so you got multiple tabs. Okay. That's Every tab is fully cached, so when you go to that tab, the page is there. It doesn't have to refresh. Okay. That's you don't have to go to the mobile version of any page because you've got the power to go full HTML. And by the way, it fully supports Flash, so you can go through anything you want. You can recognize Chrome here, I think, right? Yeah. So your most recent or uh, your bookmarks are all available. In fact, you can sync it to your Chrome. Uh, it's got incognito so browsing, too. Did you catch that? Yeah. So, books. Um, it, it goes into the, the Google Book Repository, so you got 3 million books scanned and ready for you. Of course, a nice UI because they got the real estate to do it on the display. Um, you can also, they set up, like I said, a lot of different widgets. One of them is for ebooks. Scroll through. Uh, they pop one open here, and it, it does what you expect. You know, you can turn the pages. Uh, it's on the cloud. You don't have to download it, so that you can use it on any Android device that you've got, and it'll remember what page you're on and what book you're reading. So, can you download it, however, if you're reading? Your book? I think you can also download it. Because you don't want to be collected all the right. time. That's right. You can download it. The part I couldn't understand, maybe you explained it. What is the connection to Verizon? Because 99% uh, my wife has an iPad. She's not connected. Right. She uses my Wi-Fi at home. What is this thing being in Verizon well, Jail? <laughs> so, well, you got to launch with somebody. Right? No? I mean, you we, can just we sell it retail. We no. got it. Okay, we're not Apple, okay? Okay. So, we're launching with Verizon, so we got 3G. But I tell you what, I, mean, I know Verizon is looking at different models. Your comment ties in with one of the models that they're looking at. Okay? How tied in are you going to be? They're working that out. The thing is, most of the carriers ask you to have some sort of a hook in their service. And 99% of what if they use has nothing to do with the service. If they yeah. subsidize it. If they don't subsidize it, you're open. Okay? So they're working on that model. This is the first one we're launching, and we're doing it with Verizon. So, the CPU and that's a nice, that's a wonderful the, YouTube interface. Look at that. Also, that. You know, you scroll it back and forth. I think we're like one of the that. first ones to use it. We're also using it on a phone. It's yeah. the same CPU. Yeah. Because of the, I like the, I like the, the, the keyboard. Okay, the T20. Okay. And uh, I mean, I usually talk through these, but <clears throat> I don't mind not voice. talking. <laughs> uh, so you can go full screen with this. Once again, tying in with the HD content. HD capabilities of the device. Uh, I mean, Google, I, I think YouTube's going to be a pretty big play on this because of HD coming out. And there's there are other things happening with YouTube that I can't really talk about, but I think we'll make this device good for it. Okay, you can video chat because you got the 2 megapixel camera. 
You can switch it to use the rear camera, and you can narrate you know, whatever you're looking That's at. Cool. Um, you can mute it. You can. You don't have to accept the call. I. Uh, I. I don't use it except to test. I don't use it a lot. But my kids love it. I mean, a lot of people do use it. Um, what do your kids use it for? Uh, video just conferencing? Talking. Talking? Wasting time. Um, Thank you. Socialization. Right. Today. Yeah. Very important when you're 14. Uh, okay, Google Maps is optimized once again and customized for a tablet. Uh, GPS chip in it? Yes. So you go into a city like New York, 3D view, and it's got 10 finger touch control. So you can roll around, you can scroll and move it as you want. Chicago's digitized. So you can get lost, you can get lost in Google Maps just as you can yeah. in the regular but place, right? A helicopter, you're all set. <laughs> it goes to street view, which is kind of fun on a device this size. I mean this, I mean honestly, I do use this. But I live in Chicago, so I do use this in the city. It's it's helpful. Wow, wow, and it's wow. fun, you know. But if it's going to be releasing Q1, why don't you have a live version of this? I mean, you have kind of a chance demo. Like I said, oh, because of the honeycomb Google? is oh, not out yet, oh, I see. and you could see a lot more than they